Hi and welcome to my OCR AA Level Biology Revision Session with me, Christine. So today's lesson I want to look at gene therapy. Now to understand gene therapy I need to take a step back and remind ourselves about protein synthesis. So we know that our genes are sections of DNA which code for our polypeptide sequence. We know the DNA is copied by transcription onto mRNA. That mRNA is then translated into the polypeptide which is a sequence of amino acids. So if we understand protein synthesis then what we need to understand is that we can have some genes which are going to code for functional proteins and we're going to have some genes which will code for non-functional proteins. Now remember a different version of a gene is an allele. So Gene therapy then is where what we're going to do, we're going to replace what's known as a faulty mutant gene with a healthy allele, a healthy gene. So what we need to do is we're going to take the gene which codes for the non-functional protein and we're going to replace this with a gene that codes for the functional protein. Now, there are two types of gene therapy that can be done. One is known as somatic cell gene therapy, and the other is germline cell gene therapy. So let's look at the difference between the two. So somatic cell gene therapy then is where we're going to replace a mutant allele with a healthy allele in an affected somatic body cell. So it's important you understand that this body cell has obviously differentiated. It's a somatic cell and it depends what type of cell we're talking about. Are we talking about pancreatic cells? Are we talking about cells within our alveoli? It just depends, but we call them the somatic cells because they are the body cells, the cells which are found all over the body and can be very specific to the role that they play. Now what we want to do is we want to take a healthy allele and we want to replace the mutant allele with a healthy allele. But how do we get it in there? Well, this is where we'll use things like a viral vector. So we know that viruses like to hijack the biochemistry inside cells by inserting their genetic material into host cells like our cells. So because we understand that we can manipulate the viral DNA to carry the healthy allele. We can also use what's known as a liposome. So basically it's a membrane which has the gene inside, so carrying that healthy allele. And what we want to do is we want to genetically engineer these somatic body cells. So we are replacing a mutant allele by the insertion of a healthy allele. Now, if there is a non-functional protein present and a functional protein present, then the functional protein is the one that's going to do the necessary role within the cell. So by inserting the healthy allele, we are there for causing protein synthesis to occur, the transcription, translation of a functional protein. Now, the only problem we have is that this is a temporary solution. Due to mitosis, we know that damaged cells get replaced by stem cells. Now, those stem cells contain the original DNA, the faulty allele. So therefore, if we are replacing the damaged cells with the stem cells, the replaced cells will contain the original faulty allele and therefore it's an only a temporary measure. The other thing to note is that the, through the process of meiosis, the haploid gametes that are produced are going to be from the original DNA. So therefore, offspring could inherit faulty alleles. Now, somatic cell gene therapy has been successful treatments for such diseases as retinal disease, immune diseases, leukemias, myelinomas, 
and haemophilia. So it has been shown to be successful in treating some of these disorders, but it is temporary. Now, the other way we can use gene therapy is known as germline cell gene therapy. And this is where we're going to insert this healthy allele into a germ cell. Now, this is usually a egg cell, so a haploid cell, or it can actually be inserted straight to the embryo as part of the IVF treatment, so in vitro fertilization treatment. So it's important to note that we're taking this healthy allele, we're either inserting it into the germ cell, that egg cell, or we're going to do it into the embryo. Now the key thing to note then, because we're talking about it being in the haploid individual that will then result in fertilization, or the embryo which has already gone through that fertilization process, is that all of the cells will contain the same genetic information. They will all contain that extra healthy allele. So this healthy individual will therefore pass on healthy alleles to the offspring. So it's a permanent solution However, although it has been successfully done with embry animal embryos, it is illegal to be done in human embryos in most countries. And that's because there are ethical and medical concerns with this treatment. And it could result in people starting to try to design the type of individuals, offspring that they wish to have. Also, because we're talking about in vitro fertilization, there is the argument of what happens to the embryos that don't contain successful insertion of those healthy alleles. So it's important that you note that there's always going to be ethical implications whenever you are talking about genetically modifying either the somatic body cells or the germline cell gene therapy. So I hope you've liked this video and if you have then please do click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already done so do check out my revision platform www.aiqchat.com.